Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to round six. ARG presents states for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, this is the states for Florida. State here, championships. Yeah, here in the hottest place on earth. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> Miami, Florida, here at PPG headquarters. Uh, just been a fantastic experience, by the way, guys. Uh, I've had a wonderful time sitting here with uh, Scotch. We uh, commentated last match. And this match, we have a little treat for you. A little treat for you. A little treat, a little treat basket for number, round number six. We have Jules. Marino on the left playing Vegeta, as it turns out. We'll talk a little bit more about Vegeta in a second. And on the right, John, not going to know how to say that name. Not even going to have a clue. Masculity playing Broly. Sorry, buddy. I know I just butchered your name. That's okay, though. Uh, but anyway, awesome matchup here. We have uh, kind of a hand destruction type deck against Vegeta. Traditionally, this matchup, Vegeta is going to be a little bit favored. Uh, obviously, Broly is designed to beat uh, Soul Striker, uh, but it still should be pretty good. So what do you, we'll talk a little bit about how Vegeta's changed, Scotch. That's what I want. I want you to talk a little bit about that uh, because I think it's something that uh, players uh, might know a little bit about, but I might not know exactly how it works. So basically what was given to us yesterday by Bandai was that effects no longer carry over when you awaken or evolve, um, which is kind of rough for Vegeta considering how they really want to ping themselves down to four and then awaken. So now if you ping yourself down to four and then awaken, the uh, critical no longer carries over. And it's the exact same thing on the, uh, it's the exact same thing on evolves. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. So why that's important is because uh, used to, you could uh, activate Vegeta at five life, go to four, get crit, awaken, draw two cards. And now you're a 15,000 critical attacker. Can't do that anymore. Now when you awaken, you lose the crit. And so it makes it a lot harder to play. It makes it a lot more tighter. Uh, again, Vegeta was already a tight deck anyway. If you messed up at all, it was probably... I mean, I've seen matches be decided by one card. Like, I was 5,000 under beating you. Well, that happens. So now it's, like, even more uh, ridiculous. So this card is uh, extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, and it got a little bit of a nerf, which I like. I like it. It makes you have to play a little bit uh, more conservative. But the, the important thing to remember here, guys, with this ruling, I, I really want to... I'll ask you your opinion too, Scotch. Uh, but I feel like this wasn't aimed towards Vegeta. It was aimed towards, like, the crazy interactions we've seen with um, cards like uh, the new Goku EX Evolve, where you could, like, use the Dash Pack promo and then make it, like, a 35,000 triple striker <laughs> critical. You know what I mean? It was, like, for those type of effects. And it just makes the game a little bit tighter going forward into future sets. Well, it's not even just that, because you got to remember... It now hurts Mecha Frieza as well, because Mecha Frieza using uh, turn one Manaka over and over, or turn two whenever you're going to actually use the double strike. If you awaken, you ping yourself down to four and awaken, mm -hmm. that double strike falls off now. That's true. That's a good point. So, um, I mean, I think it's something that we should have had in the first place. I think that the only thing that should have gone up is power. I agree. Um, us getting used to effects carrying over is going to probably be a little bit of a curve to learn, and that's why I think uh, so many people stopped playing Vegeta for this tournament. There's really yeah. not that many. There isn't. There um, isn't. You now have to play around that. Yep. And you don't want to awaken yourself now because yeah. if you ping yourself down, you don't have the crit anymore. What's the point of attacking? Yeah, so. I feel like we're kind of we're kind of at like the the home of Vegeta too. Yeah, I mean this is PPG. <laughs> this, is where, this is where Vegeta was born. You know, oh this is this God. is Planet Vegeta. And so uh, I, you know, I expected to see a lot more Vegeta decks here. Obviously, Eddie's still running it. You know, we have Jules here as well, but there's not very many people running it. You're right. Yeah, and I was surprised to see that Jules was actually playing it because uh, he came up to me beforehand and uh, was asking me about the ruling and was a little bit, a uh, little bit peeved by it. As was Eddie. I was, I was making fun of Eddie when he showed up as well. I was like, "Hey, Eddie, how's it feel to know that your Vegeta doesn't work the same anymore?" <laughs> oh, Eddie. He, of course, he's just like Scotch leave. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will still play it. I will find the way. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited too with. Um... And it's also a possibility for design space too. You know, we might have you know guys in, in set five or something that might be called well trained, and maybe they'll keep the effects or something. You know, I mean, we can they can do stuff like that. So they can bring that mechanic back if they want. But I like that it's not static on on everything. It was just too convoluted. There's just too many things you could do with it that was just absurd. Well, same thing with you know, uh, Buhan. If you put something with, uh, for example, barrier underneath of it, you trigger it. Barrier carries over. If you evolve, boom! All of a sudden, you have you know. The new, uh, the new blue Majin Buu with crit swinging in for triple strike. So that's again, it's it's like there's too many things that are coming out now that could overutilize the ability right. to give themselves crit or to give themselves an added boost. Right, and we talk about it a lot. And, you know, I, I do it on my stream all the time about limiting design space. You don't want to limit design space. You don't want them to be like, well, I want to release this really cool card, but if you evolve Goku with crit, it's OP, so we can't release it. Instead, it makes more sense just to blink that rule, and that way you open up your design space, you can print better cards. I like that a lot. It's really smart. 
i.e. chain attack into uh, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you want to open design space, you don't want to close it, which is why I'm surprised Mecha Frieza didn't get hit at all. I thought Mecha Frieza would see something because every single extra card that's printed, every one of them, I know the designers have to go, hmm, I wonder how this works with Mecha Frieza. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm sure scary. they had no idea that Monaco was going to happen the way it did. I don't, I, I'm don't. Yeah. i sure they were like, oh, yeah, objection. That's, that's probably going to be a thing. And then, like, people are like, oh, draw two cards, draw two cards, draw two cards. And you're like, oh, We've made a grave mistake. <laughs> well, happens, happens. All right. So we're actually finally getting to the core of this game here. Uh, we have the uh, John here at five life and getting ready to put his fourth energy down. That's where things get exciting. Now, Joel's doing a good job here with this Kel, by the way, playing, playing blue-green Vegeta. That's something I didn't expect. And I'm sure something John didn't expect either. Getting both his Broly's killed is devastating right now. Again, that's something that you really want to do when you're playing hand destruction, Scotch. I'll talk about it all the time. Always got to take care of those Broly's. And so you don't want to play them out on turn one if you think they can kill them. You Instead, you want to wait until turn five and play one Broly into a four-cost Broly. It's hard to do against Vegeta because he can kill you, but you want to be very, 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 very careful. It's definitely the best way to handle Broly.deck, too. Right. If Builder you if drops. you pop those one drops, you're shutting down the further plays that will hurt you a lot uh, in, in turns to come. So the sooner you can get those one drops off, the better. Um, Absolutely. Then again... Who knows? We can't exactly see his full hand. He might have another one in hand. It looks like he doesn't. It looks like he has Bio Broly, uh, Sensei Bean, and two Protector of Children in hand. But, you know, if he rips the one drop, it's just like, oh, one drop, evolve, right. and you're just, it's you know, two what anyway. do you do? You're about to lose two cards. That's exactly what you're going to do. All right, Tien is, it looks like he's checking Tien here to see which one he does first. Losing a Tien to Gingaboo. Pretty decent trade, going down to uh, three life. Oh, rip the one drop. So he has a one drop now. He ripped the one drop? He's got the one drop oh now. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here's Big Broly coming in. See, I think that's a very, very solid way to get rid of a Trunks, too. Absolutely. Swing with the Trunks, then use Broly. Broly is Broly's going to be kind of insane next set, I too. I know. Broly's getting good. I hate to say it out loud in front of people, but he's getting he's getting better. There's only a few hundred people watching <laughs> right now to see. This is only being recorded on the internet and will last for the rest I of know. your life. I know. I hate to say that, but <laughs> it's true. He's getting a little bit better. I've been playing against him a lot on stream. It's like I, I'm starting to have to try. I don't like that, Scotch. I don't like half of the try against Broly. He's supposed to be the worst leader in the game. I mean, the hit's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Vados weird. isn't great. <laughs> like, there's plenty of other leaders that are, you know, bad. Of the foil leaders, sure. Uh, up until recently, like, I remember in set one, everybody's like, Broly's meta, Broly's meta. We never saw that down here in Florida. Yeah, we never did Broly was never that. a thing. But, like, you hear all these stories from all over the country. We're like, oh, Broly went undefeated. I'm like, how? The yeah. deck is easy to beat. Yeah, Broly never went undefeated where I was at. <laughs> And then when Tien got printed, I think I was a little bit of a boost. Because, like, usually Broly, you just never attack them. And he was like, please attack me. And you're just like, nah, I'm good, Broly. He's like, but please. And you're like, nah, I'm good. Card we both, or, you know, we forgot about running Tien and Broly when we were talking about Tien last mm -hmm. round. Uh, it's definitely, you know, Broly wants to be awake. It right. wants to be awake. And um, I have a feeling this is, like, the kind of thing. Because you see, he's running blue-green. So maybe 3 Tien to result would be a thing but you know we don't really know uh i don't we don't have his necklace in front of him right now but uh it's one of those things where just broly's getting more support and it's not even meant to be broly support it's just so good They're and so good partnering you know khalifa with kale and with uh with with kaba Ooh, putting that Jules in going broly. all in right here holy moly oof jules is like guess what broly i'm coming in this is 20 30 is Pretty... John currently at two or is he at three still? He's at. I two. think he's at two. So yeah, yeah this would John, potentially John's, be game. Yeah, this is game right here. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Since you've been, I think John can make through, make it through here. Uh, he does have two negates in hand. Rough. How heartbreaking though if he can't make it right here. He just could have negated. I guess he didn't expect that. John's just trying to. He's going to do some math here. Trying I can't quite see it here either. So it's 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. John is at. 15, 20, uh, 15, 25, 35, 40, 45, 50 with the sense of being 60. You have the, you have, you have TN. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. TN has, there it is. TN was, was useful this day. Yeah, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one, buddy. It's <laughs> Look, he can't untap those energy fast enough, by the way. John's excited. He's like, I survived. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Looks like Lester are already giving him John the win right now. Just be Ooh. like, you know what? You win. 
They're still going. Yeah, the, they're still, the game's still going. And he's like, you know what? I know it's going to happen. So you win. Here it comes. Lester can't even see the game, and he's like, I know who else. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Lester, do it. I told you guys. I've told you guys since the start of this stream, Lester was MVP, and no one believed me. And now it's confirmed on stream live in front of 100-some people. He can he, see the future. he can see the future. It's just like it's literally what I just learned. So That was, you know, after that last match, that was quick. That was super quick. Holy crap. For a Broly matchup, I hear that guy's a prodigy. I hear that, too. <laughs> I hear it quite often. Uh, but yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I was uh, extremely surprised. Um, I mean, actually, that's why we talk so much about the dip, what could happen in the match, because I thought this was going to be kind of a grindy matchup. Yeah, but instead, we saw a more aggressive Broly coming against a Vegeta. Like, that's one of uh, Vegeta's biggest flaws, in my opinion. It's very glass cannon, which means, you know, it's got it's going to put out a lot of power, but it's going to neg itself down too low to be able to withstand too much. So uh, doing a straight aggro rush into John was probably not the most favorable thing for Jules because next thing you know, he's at three and John's still at seven. Right. So <laughs> on top of that, John had hand advantage over him. So it was like Vegeta, sure, it does get a lot of hand advantage due to the fact that it's pulling from his life. Um, however, it was just not enough. You know, John was able to out combo him and then turn around and drop Mr. Unkillable, i.e. Bioware Army. Right, right. That card's like a freaking zombie, man. It just keeps coming back. There's no way to get rid of it. I'll tell you, that card is just absurd. I mean, the more I, the more and more I see it being played, it's like, ugh, it's really frustrating. One of the big things about that card, though, and that a lot of people uh, don't understand, is that it actually does die to Mass Saiyan, though. Mass yeah, Saiyan, since Mass Saiyan warps it. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's a card that's pretty pretty relevant in the current meta. So it does have counters, which I love. I mean, I love that it's not just like, beat, you know, it's like, ah, I'm unbeatable. Like, it actually has a, a common plate, you know, a threat, and it's still powerful. That's awesome. That's a well-designed card, right? Um, I just love it. I don't know. I like the Broly deck. The more and more I see it. So I like it a little bit. What? I what was it. that? I like it a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking about playing Broly now? <laughs> Mr. Vegeta Hand Destruction? No, I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah, you say that. Not doing that. All right, can we uh, can we put that on record uh, so that uh, when Dusty does inevitably play this deck at some point, be it on stream or in person, uh, we need to uh, haze him for it. <laughs> I get hazed enough for not being able to say any word correctly. Woof. Woof. <laughs> any word ever. Doesn't matter what it is. I was it's talking okay. on stream the other day. I said the wrong. What? How know. do you mess up the? I don't know. What I, said. I was like the or something. Well, that's not saying it wrong. That's saying it British. <laughs> It's like color instead of color. <laughs> color. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to start siding. I'm curious to know what Jules is going to side in here against uh, <clears throat> against his Broly deck. Well, what a... can you side? I feel like Mass Saiyan is pretty much possibly it, realistically. Because right. right. he's just going to eat his hand down if he lets the game go too long. Right, exactly. It's weird. It's It puts Vegeta in a weird situation because th something Vegeta has to do is A, like you said, it's on a, a clock. It can put a lot of pressure on Broly, which is fine. But if it awakens too soon, then it gives Broly free discard because then Broly can attack in the Vegeta and just give him free discard. It's very tough. I think probably the best play he's got that he could do is Jocko. Jocko the TN the second it comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shut him down to. for a turn, yeah, and then to. you got to try and get multiple Jockos. It's one of those situations where if you open up triple Jocko, you're like, you know what? I think I'm keeping it. This is going to hurt me really bad to do, but I think I'm going to keep it because you need to keep that Broly from awakening as long as possible. But at the same time, the second they get to six energy or five energy, it's just going to backfire on you because then you're going to lose your whole hand. So it's a very, it's a very, you're, you're walking a fine line, right? You're walking on the edge of a cliff and you're just like on one side, uh, on the other side, uh, because there's just nowhere to go. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm at a loss here for what it's kind of like you would do. What would you do against him, Mr. Uh, Mr. Coach? It's Vegeta. Well, if I was playing Vegeta, I mean, the first thing I would do is I would, you know, uh, I would crit my, my the Broly um, uh, frequently. Uh, I would knock him down to about five uh, if I could. And then I would make him awaken himself. I think that's something that Vegeta players don't do enough. They're, I mean, I understand that you're discarding a card. That stinks. But you have to uh, essentially use your card advantage. So use your boots in hand. You know, you, use your searchers to stop taking damage from Broly and, and force your opponent to awaken. Um, that's what you have to do. And then once you get your hand built up to the right spot where you think you can go in, then you pressure him to go in. You just don't want to blindly go all in. I've seen too many people do that. Um, you know, Jules did a great job eliminating those one drops, and he should have been really far in that head, ahead in that game. And honestly, he got himself to a spot where he was he was winning. He just missed it by a couple thousand. 
So Jules needs. immediately charging the Chaco that I, I literally just said he needs. I know. I mean, but I, again, I mean, it's weird because I mean, honestly, if like Broly just like TNs up to four life, like I think you might just be able to kill him. Maybe. You know what I mean? So it's it's really weird. It's really weird. It's a tough matchup. It's it's like kind of counterintuitive of what Jules wants to do. First turn ring again. Yeah, again. Oof. I'm attacking you. Ten thousand. What do you? Looks like do? double baby Broly's in hand too. Baby Broly. That's fun to say. Baby Broly. Baby Broly. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to do. What Jules just did there. Protect his life. Take life on his own terms. I don't like that he pitched the Goku. Because the Goku is like kind of what you want to play. You know, like next turn you want to play Goku. Draw a card, take a card, a life from Vegeta, pressure Broly. Had another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Had another one. Yeah, which is good. Go down six life, Jules. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, there goes one of the three. And this is why I want, yeah, this is exactly what I would do if I was Jules. Just put the pressure up. And then once you can awaken. And baby John. Broly into two baby Brolys. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, I just get a baby Broly here. Well, for sure. Don't go for a big one. Go yeah. for a baby one because you know he's going to kill him. Yeah. And don't play this one out. You don't play this one out. You just keep this one in your hand and you make him have to kill the other one. I know it's tempting. Of course, he can't even has a blue and a green, but you know what I'm saying. Just keep this one out until he has to kill it. Kills it. That's fine. Just play another one out next turn. Pitching another Goku, though. I know. Those are such good cards right now. Especially against Broly when you want to have multiple targets on the board that you can just kill exactly. off when Broly awakens. Exactly. It's good when Broly awakens. It's good whenever he's attacking you here. Little segue here. Actually, in uh, in Indy, I was going to Dusty for, for coaching advice to, in between rounds, and I was worried about facing the Broly deck, and the first thing he said is, hold on to your one-drops. Yes, hold, hold on to your one-drops until he awakens. I was like, okay, and sure enough, I mean, I never faced it, but <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, it makes sense. He awakens, you're just like, <laughs> it's like, boo, boo, Goku, you're go. It's like, well... This uh, awakened ability seems a little bit worse now. And that's when uh, that's when he hits you with Kale. <laughs> You're right. just like, well, I had a good run, boys. <laughs> I tried it. We tried. That's round six, guys. In the middle of the in the middle of the uh, screen right there, uh, in between the two numbers. Uh, play records? Not sure. I think they each have two losses. Yeah, they're both X two. Yeah, both X two. So the if they went out, they get it, make top sixteen. They weren't that far off on top tables either. No, they were. They were. They were like, like yeah, they ten were, or yeah. nine. They were close. Yeah, they were. They weren't. Uh, they weren't very far off at all. Of course, when we saw Broly was in the the contention to top cut, Always. he's like, "We up? You know what I'm grabbing? Got to get that. <laughs> got to get that Broly deck." Jules unable to again pressure the Broly deck. I mean the Broly, and John deciding to play a Broly as energy. Paying three. three. That's gonna be the promo Broly. Ooh, though. promo Broly. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> that, is, that is a thing. That's a thing. Powerful card. Where's the bloodlust? <laughs> now tapped out. So again, no TN play, but it looks like he doesn't even have the TN in the first place. Which is going to be rough. Because the longer this match goes on for Jules, the harder it's going to be for him to recover once these, uh, this hand destruction comes out. Uh -huh. Here's 20,000 double strike. Jules can't really take this. But also kind of wants to take this. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Perfect counter. That was going to be tough for him to... Oh, a Kale right here. It's rid of the Broly chain. Puts critical pressure on his opponent. At Pro Play Games Live, Dusty, what would you and Scotch have played today? Oh, Goku. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. What would I play today? I probably would have played... Man, that's so tough. I'm so into set three. I don't know if I can even remember what decks are in set two. Uh, I would probably play... I've edited my, my indie top deck, uh, the deck we took to top 16 in indie. I've edited it a little bit. Uh, I would have played that today. I would have played that today because now I'm getting more comfortable with it uh, the more I play. And that started in Toledo because we played Dusty's deck. And uh, we started getting a little comfortable with it, but wasn't super comfortable. And then uh, it turns out me being uncomfortable is how I do well. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I probably would play uh, Mecha Frieza Hand Destruction. <sighs> That's what I'd play. Because right now you guys expect a lot of so Android. Much. I expect a lot of Soul Strikers. And Destruction is good against Soul Striker. Mecha Freeze is decent against Androids. You have Cobalt Loss. You can soft their chain. Yeah, that's right what I do. Something like that. 
I like playing decks for the meta. I don't like playing. You know, I don't. I don't really care what deck I play. I, I try to play decks for the meta if I can. Because you want to destroy, destroy the, the meta, meta. destroy the meta. Cling, baby. cling, cling. But uh, but this, I mean, sometimes you just can't. You know, sometimes you know, like I said, there's a lot of times. Like right now, I think Androids is a terrific choice. But every, t- I just, I'm bad at Androids. I don't know why. But every time I play, I just feel like I'm terrible at it, and so I, I don't play those. See, that's how I felt with Mecha Frieza. I was right. trying to run green blue Mecha Frieza for a while, and yeah, I was topping locals. But then there was a point where it was just like. Uh, do I really want to sell my soul to play this deck? <laughs> Here's another attack. It'll be a discard on Jules here. Six drop Broly and a protector of children in John's hand. Still not awakened. Pitch in a bean, it looks like. See, this is exactly what I want Jules to do. I want him to put pressure on John. Not awaken him. Try to build that board up a little bit. It's like he learned from game one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, that didn't work. Let's try strat two. Yeah. Strat two and he's seeing a little bit more success now. He's at least got, you know, John's only one uh, one life above him. Uh, John's hand size is drastically different from what it was last game. And Jules has enough hand to actually be able to, uh, to handle what's going on. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the main thing you have to figure out, too, here is what is he going to do he has to choose the right time to awaken John, right? He can't awaken John too soon. I think this turn might be just one turn too soon. I think he goes one more turn. He might be able to have enough threats to start putting enough pressure on him. But if he awakens him right here, I'm afraid that John's going to, that uh, Jules is going to be in for a rude awakening here. I'm a little, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm on the other side of the fence. I think that now is exactly when he needs to do it because if he does it later, and he gets to six energy, that's when we're really going to see him have a problem with okay. this deck. Uh, his hand, Jules' hand is what, six cards right now? Seven cards? It's not enough to be able to handle what's going to potentially come out because we know he has a one drop in hand. We know he has a six drop in hand. So it's like, if those start coming out, we're going to see a big boy problem. I lied. Doesn't have either of those anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, here's, I mean, TN, you know, it's coming down. Well, doesn't really need it anymore. No, but it's a good combo card right now because the cool thing about TN is you can use it twice. True. Use it on once a combo and then once again when it's in play. So, but is it worth negging yourself two energy for? <laughs> oh, defense, it's not too bad. Ooh, Kale. Kale, Kale, Kale. Don't Later, Tian. The goo tanks. Not sure I would have chosen the go tanks. Unless you just want to. My well, daddy's always say, don't do that. Don't do it. And he goes, unless you just want to, that's fine. <laughs> Do what your heart tells you. <laughs> 25k, I like that play. 25k, it makes uh, Broly have to use a Trunks and something else. John's going to take it and go 3. 3-3 three three right now. This can be a big turn for John. See what he gets what he gets out and what he can play here. I mean, he doesn't have much. He doesn't have he doesn't, much. I mean, his hand, unfortunately, is pretty light. In before the boo, into the Broly, into the next Broly, and he rips the one drop. I could see the future, too! I can, why can everybody see the future but me? <laughs> Apparently, next, sitting, sitting in a room with six drop extreme in hand. heat. <laughs> Look at that, the Broly, the boo into the Broly, to the Broly. What did I say I called it? Look at that. Scotty's right? Ding? Maybe? Yep. Ding? <laughs> Had a good run. <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah, that was uh, exactly what he needed. Definitely what he needed, because now he's just going to pop the boo. Uh, we're going to see the Gohan go away. And because uh, there's no way he pops the Kale. Right, right. 175 viewer hype, guys. Thank you so much for being here watching me and Scotch. We always appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys get a chance, make sure you stop by uh, Pro, Play Ga- Pro Play Games YouTube channel. Give them a subscribe. Also, follow them here on Twitch. Really, really means a lot to them. This is a new channel trying to get started. Bringing you guys amazing content, so definitely check it out. Also, stop by Scotch's uh, Twitch page. Check him out, too. Yeah. Ty and don't and of course don't don't forget to go to Kitchen Table Meta and if you're not following it you wrong get over there drop the follow on Kitchen Table Meta as well guys <clears throat> both Dusty and I love bringing you content and uh, we love to see you guys out here it means a lot to us and uh, you know this is a I'm not gonna lie this rig's a lot better than mine it's nice it's, uh, it's a really it's nice. nice rig yeah. I love this yeah if it was like. Just so nice. It's like we're in our own little room. We can talk. We can laugh. We don't have to worry about like trying to talk low to the players. Us. Those we don't got to yeah. worry about a barrier in yeah. front of us. It's oh, nice. it's so it's, nice. It's very, very nice. I like it a lot.
The question's really going to be <laughs> if that Broly stays alive on the board. Because if that Broly stays alive, if Jules can't kill that Broly somehow this turn, he about to lose two cards. Yes. He about to lose three cards if you include the Broly leader attack. Draw off of this, it looks like. Yep, so we're going up to six. Six cards. Six cards can be devastating. Gonna go down to four. Wait, he Chompa. What? Why is he examining that so much? <laughs> this is where it's gonna Does get... Does he have Chompa? He could Chompa him here. The 30k critical. We're down to the nitty gritty now, boys. And girls, if there's girls. John deciding yet again not to, not to negate. Does he have two green open? Is that why? Yeah, it's, he doesn't have a blue okay, open. Okay, that's so why, those okay. are two dead negates in his hand. He's got a bio warrior army, and it looks oh, like the six trap as well. Oh, here we go. This is how it ends. Triple Ooh. crit this turn. Well, he go for it, Scotch. I think he does. I think, well, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, he does ping himself down to two, swinging in for crit again. Yeah, that tells me that this is he's going for game right here. He's going to go for game. He's trying to trying he to has, flood his hand a little bit. He has some piccolos. Busak into, it looks like a go he, I don't think he has the Chompa, though. We won't need the Chompa because he can't negate it. He still has the attack with the Mira. Swing with the Mira, you, we know that he's only got 10k in hand right now. This is flashback. This is flashback to Gen Con where you, you have three negates in hand. You can't use them. You just watch your your your, your opponent slowly kill you. You just wish. 10, 15. I just wish. Well, much. That's it. Game three. Game three. Holy crap. Wow, Jules handled that exactly how he needed to. Yeah, that's what exactly we just talked about before the, before the game started. Yeah, absolutely how he needed to. You want to keep him at five, keep his hand low until you get some tools in your hand, build up a little bit of a board, and then just put pressure on your opponent. Well, it's great, too. If you knock your opponent to five, even if they draw a TN to awaken, they have to awaken down to three. So you're fine then anyway. You know what I mean? So that's how I try to deal with Broly. Broly's tough, though. Broly's very difficult. He's very similar to Androids and Cell, too, where it's just like, I feel like he's so hard, they're so hard to play against. Unless you know exactly how. Like, it's just one of those matchups. It's just one of those matchups where you're going to go into it and already be uncomfortable, even if you kind of know what to do. Right. You know, you never know what exactly what your opponent's going to have. Prime example, John doing the boo into the Broly, into the Broly. If that play had gone off, it would probably have gone the other way. <laughs> it probably would have gone the other way. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's just, you know, like I said, it was good that he awoken him the turn he did, because if he had waited a turn, then that would have gone off. That's true. That's true. Of course, you know how I am. I I, I never like to, I, I never, I, I pull the trigger, like, very rarely. So I sit back, I just never want to kill you. I just sit there and, like, grind and grind and grind. I'm a very cautious player. Is Vegeta good now, or is it, or is bad? Uh, I don't think Vegeta is bad. I think Vegeta is good still. Um, I think Vegeta is different. Yeah, I think I, I do. I think Vegeta is definitely different. I think one of the big things that Vegeta uh, does is he requires you to play a little bit more tight. That's what I like to call it. You know, play more you know, close to the chest. Where you know, if you mess up a little bit, you know, Vegeta was devastating before, but now it's like absolutely devastating. It can actually just make you just lose the game. But Dusty, how are you supposed to see your hand if it's tight to your chest? That's right. That's why it's, it's you have less. You just blind play. ESP. You trust in the heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Uh, but, no, but seriously, I mean, it's like one of those things where you have to be very careful. Um, you know, you want to you know attack. Uh, the one thing to remember is when you go to four life, even though you can't awaken. Uh, and keep crit, you still have Piccolo's available. That's something Eddie was talking about, where I think it's a very important thing that to understand is that you still have like the Piccolo advantage, you still have the super combo advantage when you go to four. Um, and so you could just attack on with your 10k, put pressure on them, and then protect yourself with Piccolo's if you need to on their turn, and then awaken next turn and keep putting pressure on them. So it's just a little bit tougher, a little bit different, but I think Vegeta's still good. Obviously, he's had a good results. I mean, this uh, Jules is two games away from making top 16 with it, and Eddie has lost one game last round. So, you know, playing the, it as well. So it's still a, a good deck and still decent in the meta. Now, I'm surprised that they're doing as well as they are in a, a cell-dominated meta, though we've seen a lot of cell chain today. It's not, though. There's only, last time I looked, there was only like two or three cell decks in the top cut. It was a lot of freaking Goku, well, I'm though. At, I'm at cell chain. Oh, cell like, chain, yeah. yeah. Androids I mean, and, and, and cell leader. Surprisingly enough, not a lot of Mecha Freeza left anymore either. Yeah, that's true. That got hit, like, I don't want to say it got hit hard, because honestly, the ruling didn't change much. It just added an extra timing window. That was literally it. I know. And just that one little thing. It's like the, the producers of the game were like, how do we want to mess with the mechanics, guys? What do you want to do? 
So I think it's, let's let's do this. Much. Yeah. Um, I think we have a couple undefeated players. I think they're both playing it. Uh, one's uh, Colby could show him in a pro player. is 5-0 with Androids. And then his opponent was 5-0 with Cell. Okay. And so those are the two top tables. I think right below them was Eddie. Eddie Vegeta. Eddie, yeah, Eddie with Vegeta and someone else. I can't remember who. Um, and that didn't really get a chance. I think Soul Striker was in the next table, and I didn't get a chance to look. I think Marcel was maybe the next table. So, um, yeah, I mean, good decks. Just hard to play. I th- I keep telling people Android is hard to play, and they always la- laugh at me. What are you talking about? You're just Cell Chain. It's like, it's not that easy. It's not a one-trick. Android's like, Cell is a one-trick pony. You're going for the Cell Chain. <laughs> but Android's, you're like, oh, let me just uh, swing, untap, swing, untap, swing, untap. Oh, by the way, Cell. Just so, yeah, Cell. I want Cell, too. You're like, all right, you got to uh, do it. So tough. And honestly, Cell is the, or, you know, the Android matchup is the hardest matchup for Vegeta. It's the hardest matchup. By far. Like, the Goku matchup is super grindy. You gotta play it the right way. Uh, the Mecha Frieza, again, super grindy. You gotta play it the right way. I don't think Jules has played much against Broly, because, you know, he goes to, <laughs> he goes to the locals I go to, and, uh, again, not much Broly down here. Not Broly, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, here's the scene there, Jocko turn one. Again, doing the Jocko turn one, it's like watching Trey drop on yielding trunks again. It's just like, ugh, why? Why do you do this? Why do you like to hurt me? I also see John in that same vein playing Tien down turn one. Three games in a row, John has opened up uh, ring. <laughs> three turn or three games in a row. <clears throat> yep. And he's not even putting that many cards back. That's what scares me. Yes, sir. But again, he runs Paragus as well, I believe. So <laughs> either way, he's getting that ring. I think, I, think if, I think if I was playing uh, Broly, I would cut out the part, the Paragus. Is that his name? Paragus. Paragus. I would cut him out. I don't think he's, I think he's like overkill. Like if you don't get, if you don't get Broly's ring, I think there's so much draw in the game where you can just play like Goku's and all right, booze, and eventually you'll draw it. It's like results kind of, you know what I mean? Like you're going to get it eventually, you know? But it's eventually going to be too late. Therein lies the question. How often do you open up results, all three results, after you're already awake and you're like, hello, my energy for the next three turns? <laughs> yeah, true. You can also, uh, what some Broly players do is they, in order to keep their board up, they'll attack with their Awakened Leader and kill their Broly's ring and then play the other one down. That way they always have that one. Jules uh, pitching a Sense of Bean again. And then bringing out Gohan. The more targets, the better, right? Jules at five. John at seven. Yeah, it's another thing that I wouldn't touch on too much uh, that's really great about playing Broly or any discard decks. Why well, I think I find so much success with discard just in general is that uh, discard can be really hard to play against because, like, sometimes you just discard the wrong card. You know, sometimes you get put in a pressure in a situation, and you're like, oh, I'll discard this card, it doesn't matter, and then it turns out it's, like, the best card in the matchup. You just don't know enough about the matchup to know that. Um, I think that might be kind of what's happened to Jules here. You know, he's, he's charged Jocko's, he's... Uh, you know, put, put sensu beans and stuff in the in the uh, in a discard or whatever. So it's like you know he's kind of making a couple of small little mistakes that all can add up eventually if he's not careful. Little mistakes end up snowballing at some point, snow. and then you and then Said you snow. Uh-huh. and then you use result of training while you're at four life already. Yeah, that was that was a pro play in order so he can draw off Cal. <laughs> it was not though. It wasn't. <laughs> oh god. His reaction was the best. Oh Marcel. World champion. So John decides to do here. Quite a few options. Has baby Broly, but he's debating whether or not he wants to play it. Has also has a, a mass saying in, in, in chat, I mean, and uh, and as well, promo Broly as well. Looks like he's got a sense of being in there and a bio Broly. I miss the days when people just held their hand exactly so we could see them on stream. I used to be just so nervous, they would just sit there and hold them, we just count so all the cards, easy. see what they are. It was fantastic. Now everybody's all professionals and they know what to do on stream. They just like hand shuffle and juggle and hide their hand. <laughs> or in my case, just excessively hand shuffle and then get flamed for it online. <laughs> and we're going to have to get like a hand cam drone. <laughs> Flies around. 
Oh, that'd be pretty funny. Going double strike crit into the leader. John takes this. Taking it. Going down to three. three. Already three to three, though. John's going to be able to awaken here, though. Oh, there's Mira again. See, I feel like Mira only works in this deck. You think so? It only works in in, in Vegeta because so like the basic premise of that deck is critical. So just throwing in an extra critical card that's pretty much free is kind of a given. Like I don't see this. this I don't see it being run in any other deck right now. It's like uh, John takes it. Taking it going down to two. You think this might be Champa? Is Champa all in? Is this Champa? I'm going to go... Three energy open. Try my best to get top 16 now. Potentially. Potentially. I don't see a Champa, though. Passing. No Champa. I guess he's want to get a card out of his hand. There's like three cards in hand. I'm trying to figure out is there a way John can capture him here. Well, that's a way to do it. Yeah, take this four energy worth of cards on the battlefield. To swing in, make him discard a card. Or just go in like that. Sure. In my case, as you would say, I snap take down to one. <laughs> Staff take, you think so? Ah, pff, yeah, at this point. I mean, he has 100 cards in hand, maybe he does. I feel like Jules should just take this, to be honest. And I know, like, it's it, it might just be me saying that because I'm comfortable being a one life always, but it, it's one of those things, because you know, you got, that's that's two free cards. Oh, he can't, he can't sense you, Bean. He can't sense you, he doesn't have a blue. He didn't have a blue open? He didn't have a blue open. He can't sense it. I don't know. How do we stop it? Uh, yeah. Les is going to go tell him. Just tell him to stop. We can rerun the stream. But he doesn't have a blue open. I was actually just about to comment on that. Oh, were like, you? I was about to say that once again, he... See, I was double checking because it looks like that's a boost attack down there. But that's what? Two Brolies, three or two Brolies and a TN? And yeah, then it's, a, it's, and then it's boo. three blue. And the blue was the only one open, right? It was the only blue open? That's the only blue he has. But whether or not that was the blue open is the question. Yeah, we'll take a look. We're gonna we'll be on stream and past broadcast. We'll take a look at it. Just double check. We'll make sure we get the rolling right. It is very important. So when Lester gets back, we'll pull it up. Take a little look at it. I'm pretty sure because I, I was literally just about to comment. Uh, so you. Oh, uh, well, you just pull it up on stream real quick. You so, can. Yeah. Bring up the vod. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring up the vod and we can watch it real quick and make sure it actually happened. I'll go over there and I'll talk to them about it. Oh, actually, someone said they just clipped it. Oh, they clipped it? Okay, cool. We're going to grab that clip. Did you tell them the timeout, Lester? Yeah, I told them. Okay, cool. So they'll hold. We're going to rewind the clip, look at it, and then uh, I'll go over there and, and I'll issue the ruling. Yeah, I mean, I could possibly, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it's very possible I'm wrong. But I thought I saw that the blue was tapped out because I was going to comment about blue. There it is right there. Let us check this right quick. Yeah, he had a blue open. That boo's there. That's not the one, though. The boo is right there. Yeah, it was open. He's good. Yeah, I'll go let him up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I guess he did have a blue open. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Sorry about that, guys. I thought he didn't have a blue open, but I guess I was very, very wrong. Can you, uh, can you play it again? And go just a little bit further down.
back further. Guys, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Back in the action here. Okay. So three to two. Yeah, it was just the setup that he had for it. So the uh, yeah, yeah. the think, blue energy I, I, was yeah. underneath. Yeah, I think chat said that he moved. He moved like he. Yeah, so that's my that's my fault, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. I don't want to. I don't want to, this match to be decided by something like that. I didn't mean to make a bad call or anything. I just wanted to double check. Well, to your credit, the boot does disguise very well with the Broly's. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty similar. And now's where he goes in. So here comes the big attack. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Wow. All right. Someone says you got me. Can't beat it. Well, now we math. And there it is. Jules goes ahead and takes down the Broly. Uh, <laughs> plus one for Vegeta, I guess. Freaking, right? Yeah, freaking close. I mean, I was, I was a really close game. Really, really close game, honestly. That was definitely... Uh, Jules kind of had no idea what to do in game one. He was like, oh, it's just Broly. I can like, just yeah, rush it. Yeah, it's no big deal. I, I mean, it's, I, all I have to do is just attack him with crit. And then he realized, uh-oh, this is a little bit harder matchup than I think it might be. Yeah, it got... Uh, it got <laughs> Very well, those guys, as we as we rebuild, the the way we have the monitor set up, it's a little bit difficult with the camera in front of us to actually see uh, what's going on in the match. So uh, we, we yeah. did you know turn off the lights so we can actually see it a little bit better. But that match, again, Jules, Jules was pushing pretty hard in game one, and it was actually his downfall because next thing you know, he's got, uh, he's got one life, um, and his opponent's still at six. So I it's know. like, eh. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, I'll tell you, Broly's pretty good because he can he can kind of eat away at Vegeta's hand. Uh, but also, he's kind of bad because he really doesn't have a way to awaken without damaging himself. Yeah. Which is something you don't want to do against Vegeta. I think Jules figured out how to abuse that going into the game two and three, which is what he needed to do. Absolutely. Can still 